Hi, this is Dee Levy Life, and I just wanted to come on and to show you a project that I was pretty proud of doing, something that you might um, be able to do yourself. Um, as a couponer, we all got all of these nail polishes, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> so um, a friend actually was going to toss out her mother's old wooden spice rack and so I told her I would love to have that so this was actually wood and it held spices like oregano or whatever and so what we did was um, I resanded it down and we retacked it so that it was a little bit more sturdy and then I put a coat of the satin paint over it and voila a homemade nail polish um, holder so that worked it was completely free affordable to do and it was actually kind of fun it's always fun to do projects um, you know by yourself and so forth so it does have little holes at the at the top where I can actually hang it on the wall but it's pretty heavy with all of the with with what it has right now so and it's been okay just sitting on my um, my vanity as is so I think I'm just gonna leave it there but um, but anyways but before my system was I used to have um, one of those plastic baskets and um, I had to go searching all the way down at the bottom, of course, for the color that I wanted. And sometimes it would crack the bottles and it just wasn't a good system. So at least right now I can kind of see everything. It's kind of color coordinated to what I like. And um, and I think it's just so pretty. <laughs> uh, so, so if you can find a spice rack, maybe at a garage sale or a thrift store, this would be an easy project for you to do. And like I said, it's really affordable. Um, since I was cleaning a little bit of my vanity area, um, I thought maybe if you want to take a look at how I store my things, um, and I have some other little tricks that I've kind of found at thrift stores just to hold you know, some of the stuff that we bought for couponing for as makeup and our stockpile of makeup. So, um, so anyways, I guess I'll go ahead and do a video. I don't really normally do these kind of videos, but I figured why not? Because I like watching those kind of videos. I think it's great. So this is my vanity area where I get ready every day. Okay, and I'll start off over here. So these little glass, I've kind of started in a little theme going on here where, where it's glass or um, basically glass. <laughs> So this is a crystal um, vase. It's by Toscany, and I found this at a thrift store for $1.99, and I figured that it works perfectly to display the lipsticks for easy access for me. That I These are the lipsticks that I've opened and I like to wear. Um, the other stuff usually goes to my mom or to my friends, So, but these are the ones um, that I'm very happy with, so I like to keep them on here. Again, it was only $1.99. Um, you can use any type of bowl if you're into a ceramic bowl or if um, you know god there's so many cute little um, bowls out there kind of like in these sizes and just have to make sure that you get the right length um, or the size of that so that you're you can still see your lipstick so anyway so I got that and then at the same thrift store I found this pretty cute oh isn't this so cute it's like a like a rose or a tulip or something um, this was only 99 cents and I just had to have it um, I found out that my little juicy tube um, lip gloss tubes just fits just perfectly in there for that so those are the two things here Oops. let me get these out of the way the next items that I found at a thrift store. Um, these are actually business card holders. <laughs> I found these for only 49 cents. So I display, ooh, sorry, I display um, my my normal favorite blushes that I normally wear. So I keep those out on my counter and put them in here and they fit just perfectly, you know, in these little spots here. And then the second one, I usually just keep all my, you know, my bronzers and so forth. And then my uniform looking um, cover girl lipsticks there. And then over here, um, again, I'm sticking with the, um, the glass look on my vanity. So these were again, like 49 cents or 99 cents and they just work perfectly and it goes well with the two that I got there. So it's just, again, it's on my vanity. It's easy for, for me to see and grab and go. So let me pull out my, my everyday makeup drawer. This is it. Sorry. It's a little messy, but, um, this is my makeup drawer and I'm sure a lot of things <laughs> look familiar. 
Um, of course, you see all like the physician's formula and you got the, you know, you got the wet and wild palettes and my um, bronzers and my setting powders. Um, I have all my Lancome um, powders here, my MAC facial powders down here, and then I think I got my MAC, it goes in the back, but my MAC um, blushes, and then I got some more CoverGirl blushes towards the the side here, and then I have some more palettes like Maybelline, and then in this tray I have like um, my Lancome palettes here and odds and ends. The tray I, I've had forever, I've had it back like since the 95s or so, so um, I don't know exactly how much that was or where I got it, but um, of course you can find stuff like that, the trays, um, like at Target or Walmart or any kind of office supply place. But I have been noticing that lately if you go to a thrift store, there are usually a ton of them there. And then sometimes you can also use like the kitchen utensils trays those were kind of cool too i've seen those on videos as well so those are some um, cheap ways of getting trays instead of paying you know ten dollars at target or whatever you know you where you can pay for a dollar at a thrift store or even a garage sale so so that's that um let's see this this is kind of funny this is like um a bag that i used to use at when i went to cosmetology school and I like to hold all of my long stuff, like all my mascaras. Um, right now, I'm really digging the CoverGirl uh, Lash Blash Mascara. This is probably one of my favorite ones. I know everybody says, like, Physician Formula is, like, the best. But for me, that one just doesn't stay on. But I have a lot of my, you know, eyeliners and hair concealers. Anything that's kind of long, I'll, I'll keep in there. Um... I like this bag because you can zip, and like I said, when I went to school, um, I would bring whatever kind of makeup I wanted from home, and then um, I would just zip and go. So that was great. So I've kept this one for a while. Um, another little suggestion that I have is, you know, when you order, um, when you order checks, and then it comes through the mail, and it usually comes in these boxes. These are kind of like narrow, long boxes. Well, I like to recycle these and use them for all of my um, MAC eyeshadows, my single eyeshadows. It just works really good for me, and I've always used them. And then if it gets dirty or whatever, you could always use a new one. But, you know, there's the top, here's the bottom, and I just place it, and I stack it on top. It works perfectly. And then it closes. Ta-da! And it's free. <laughs> okay, so let me get up for a second because this is has to be a top shot of my um, stockpile of my excess of makeup. So currently, this is my drawer. I've gotten rid of a lot of my makeup. I like to give things away. Um, and my friends and family who come and visit, I always like to give them like a little goodie bag. And then sometimes I'll bring them into my room and see what they what they would like. Um, this is, I don't know exactly what to do with all of the, um, mascaras. Um, again, here's the CoverGirl one. I'm really liking that one. Um, but anyways, I gotta figure out what to do with the mascara situation. Here. Um, let's see. Once I pull this all out. Again, these are the things I'm sure that, uh, you couponers, um, no, I've seen before or have. So again, we have a lot of physicians formula down here. Uh, got lots of, um, well, don't have lots of, but I have Almay. I'm really liking these pencils. I think they glide on really well. I've given some away to my mom and my sister and my nieces. So I got three of those. But um, down here I got some powders um, that I'm kind of looking forward to using and trying. Um, so Physicians Formula, I got some bronzers. Um, <clears throat> in this little tray here is all of my excess of um, eyeshadows. I have a little tray that I caught at a thrift store again. I think it was only like 25 cents. But I like to keep the um, Almay and uh, L'Oreal and all of the um, like clearance stuff that I find. And then these are all my singles of all of the, I think these are mainly CoverGirl. Maybelline. So these are all the eyeshadow singles. I have some CoverGirl um, blushes and then of course the Wet n Wild. The one that I wanted um, that I didn't want to give away. <laughs> I've given away so much but these are the ones I have on hand to try. 
And then I have some more of the CoverGirl symbols here. And so I kind of keep that all in that tray. And then this is Physician's Formula. I gotta love that, you know, spend 10, get back seven, right? And then on here, I've had this tray here for a while, but again, you can find trays like this everywhere. Um, on this side, I like to keep all of my like lip products. So I have some lip balms. I have another cabinet full, um, a full drawer of like lip balms and those free chapsticks. Remember the, all of those that we got from uh, Walgreens? But in here, I have like all my lap, uh, mat, lap, MAC lipsticks. And then I have a couple of these. I have not tried these yet. These are by Wet n Wild. So I'm looking forward to trying these out here. But then I have some, um, you know, some unopened lipsticks, some lip glosses. Remember the burpees? Um, those are kind of cool. Some more Physicians Formula, some eyeliners down in this little spot here. And then some odds and ends, you know, from Lancome and all that. So that's pretty much that's in my drawer. And I like to give things away. Um, I'm always giving things away. <laughs> but there are some items in here that I do want to try. And um, so therefore, um, again, I need to figure something out for the, the mascara thing. But anyways, those are, that's my little, oh, see, getting too much. I need to get rid of some stuff. Who wants makeup? Just kidding. Um, okay, so anyways, so that's, that's my excess there. Um, let's see. I have a tray full of my perfume collection. I got the tray at Target. I think it was like less than $10. And then I usually like to keep a little glass, a little crystal bowl here. Um, this is just something where I like to keep my ex excess change that I usually find at the bottom of my purse or in my, in my jeans. God, I've had this thing forever. I'm sure one of you guys have this, right? <laughs> So anyways, I keep that right there. Um, this is another found, a treasure I found at a thrift store. Um, this was actually, it was tossed in this, this box and it caught my eye though. It was really this black tarnish looking thing. And when I opened it up, I didn't realize that it was this beautiful, um, this beautiful jewelry box inside. So what I did was I took sterling silver um, cleaner and polished, and I really polished it up very nice. And it, and just is that pretty? It's like for seven dollars. I couldn't believe it. So I like to keep some of my you know costume jewelry and and you know just whatever right there, just so I know that I have it. Um, another find was this really nice looking, it's like this brass basket. I wanted something that would contain a lot of my hair products because I had them all over my, my counter. And if, when I put it down, like my hairspray or something, I would set it down. If it would fall, then it's like a domino effect and everything fell over. And it was just such a pain. And I really didn't want to do like the, the regular kind of baskets. Um, so I was really lucky enough to find this at a thrift store. Let me see if I can give it a better shot. It's long, so it doesn't take up much room on the vanity. And so now I get to take whatever I want to use and just throw it in there and it doesn't move. It doesn't, you know, so everything is all contained in there. So it's really cool to just grab and go. Um, on this side, I have some products that I'm trying to use up. I need to get some empties. Um, so these are just there just so I know, hey, Denise, you got to. You got to use all of this up. <laughs> so that would, I think the basket itself, I think it was like for only $2. And the finish is not all that great. So I was thinking about either repainting it or um, with a spray paint or something like that. Or I could even um, add a ribbon in there or whatever you really want to do. But for $2, I thought that was great. It's, you know, it's so far it's been working exactly the way I want it. At least now everything is contained. It's not... It's not all over my, my vanity. So anyway, so that was that. That was my little tour. Um, thanks again for watching. Um, hope you have now some good ideas that you can, um, that you can use within, you know, all of our, our goods. So, um, that we found through couponing. So anyways, that's all. Uh, talk to you later and thanks for watching.